We're following breaking news from Western Virginia at this hour. A second person has been arrested in the death of 13-year-old Nicole Lovell. This is a picture of the two people arrested, 19-year-old Natalie Marie Keepers and 18-year-old David Eisenhower. Both suspects are students at Virginia Tech. Nicole Lovell's body was found along the North Carolina-Virginia border Saturday afternoon. News of her death spread just before candlelight vigils in Blacksburg, devastating people in attendance. It's the vigil no one wanted to attend. She's, she's not alive. Pastor Mike Oniker shares the news with dozens who gathered to pray for Nicole's safe return. Let's really just draw all of our strength and our attention to praying for this family. Instead, they were forced to pray for peace and understanding for the family and a community who lost so much. I didn't think that would happen yeah. to her because she was always the cutest little thing, you know. It was really just a sickening feeling knowing that she wouldn't be coming back. You know, we can't begin to imagine what heaven looks like. We can't begin to imagine right now what Nicole is seeing. Disbelief spread as quickly as the news. The last pieces of hope faded as the new reality of Nicole's death set in. But to be a mother myself, and to know that this could have very easily been one of my children, it really, it really hits home. We want to pray because that's what we came to do, right? The community staying united Saturday night for Nicole's family and for each other. We pray right now for Nicole's entire family, that they would feel the warmth of your embrace, the power of your presence, God. It's just crazy how someone could do that to her. Perhaps the largest question in the crowd was why this had to happen to a 13-year-old girl. Police charged Natalie Marie Keepers with improper disposal of a body. Eisenhower is charged with first-degree murder and abduction in the disappearance of the teenager. Lovell's body is at the medical, medical examiner's office in Roanoke pending an autopsy. For the latest developments in this big story, head to wavy.com.